Hey y'all. No, it's in the morning vlog. Oh, I am out of breath. Look at my big doggy. Look, Duke. That's you. Look. He can't see himself. Look. Anyways, this is our puppy. He's now... Uh, let's see. October, November, December. Maybe two and a half months or so. And oh boy, he is the biggest baby. Right, Duke, you're the biggest baby. And he's pitch, 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 pitch black. He's like super black. He, anyways, and I wanted to ask y'all for some advice. I think I need to put the chicken on this one. Here, go lay down. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm in the middle of cooking dinner. Uh, I have some dishes and some mess. So, I'll be right over there is my stove. Um, I just wanted some advice as far as our um, puppy is concerned. Hold on, Mama. Um, because that's the last of our chicken, so I need to go get some chicken. Um, because with our toddler, where are you, Mama? Oh, she disappeared. With our toddler, he is fine. He will still, you know, do some nipping, but um, not, you know, he'll just put his teeth, which um, is fine, and the tod toddler show, ow, and then he'll, you know, back away. Um, and there he goes crying. But with our seven-year-old, he constantly, constantly is n half biting, half nipping. So when she comes home from school, he gets super excited, and, um, He'll um, nip at the bottom of her feet, her shoes, uh, right in her crotch butt area. Um, when she's doing her homework, she'll or he'll um, go into her room, get on the bed, and my seven-year-old will say no and either push him away or something. We, I've told her just to ignore him and keep walking. Like when she comes home, I'll say, come show me your homework. And she'll stay like at the front of the door. Ow, 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 Duke, no, stop. And I'll just say, just ignore him and keep walking. Which I don't know if I should do, but I want him to get that he won't get attention when he bites her, which I think that's what he wants. Because with the toddler, I mean, they're always together, always playing, always, um, you know, playing with each other. Um, then my husband will tell, I can see the, the trash, don't look at my trash. Um, my husband will tell her to do the hold that uh, the, the mother pup will do to her. What happened? Oh, you colored yourself? Yeah. Oh, don't color yourself. Hi. Okay. No. Um, what? Hi. What? I don't see nothing. Okay. Well, go wash your hands in. Okay. Um, my husband will tell her to, to hold him down and tell him no or to hold his snout shut, which I've heard that you're, they're not, you're not supposed to do. Um, but he'll, you know, yelp and we'll back away for a few minutes. Um, and it's, it's, it's gone down a little bit, but I mean, uh, I don't want him to, by accident, you know, bite her finger off or something. Um, and that's another thing that I tell my seven-year-old is to not be 
afraid of him because, I mean, he won't hurt her. But if if he's if she's letting him bite, he's looking at me like, are you talking about me? Yes, I'm talking about you. Um, he, she has to show him that. Let me turn on the light because it's getting annoying. And I think I need like another light, like right here somewhere. Yeah, see, it still doesn't look that much better. Anyways, um, um, what was I saying? Um, I forgot. But it used to be really bad. It's gotten a little bit better. But I just want some advice as to, you know, how you stopped. Well, he doesn't nip. That's the thing. I don't know. I've seen the videos on how to stop them from nipping, which he's gotten down. I would put my mouth, my hand in front of his mouth. And if he would go for it, I would tell him no. Or if he did nip, we would go, ow! Because, you know, that signifies the to the pups. See, he looked at me. To the pups that, oh, I'm hurting you. And he'll, you know, move back. Um, oh, that's what I was going to say. That he's, like, dominant over my seven-year-old. And we're trying to teach her to not be afraid because there there are times that she does get scared of him and she'll just run to the couch and stay on top of the couch. But now he's able to jump on top of the couch and he's really heavy so um, uh, we don't want him to hurt her by accident. So give me some tips, video responses, comments, whatever. See how we can get our puppy and I love him we love him to death he's house trained he um, hasn't peed or, or gone number two in the house since like the second week he was with us he um, asks to go out he has his food there um, his diet is really good he is very protective over the girls like if somebody strange comes to the house or he'll hear somebody coming usually my grandparents this is our back door that's our front door um, if somebody is starting to walk towards the front or towards the back he'll hear it and he'll start rawr, rawr, rawr. Right, he's looking at me like and I'll know that somebody's coming or somebody's in the backyard or the water meter guy or whatever um, he won't get riled up if it's my husband or my mom um, he hasn't bitten anybody, you know, he'll just stay at the feet of my girls or me. If somebody comes in, he'll like, oh, what are you doing? Are you going to take me away? Or, you know, I don't know. So let me know what you think, and hope you all are having a great week. Bye.